From the bustling streets of New Delhi, today we bring you to the art gallery celebrating the centenary celebration of legendary artist F.N. Souza. With a pioneering journey that left an indelible mark on the global art form, let's dive into what his journey was about and what are the major marks of it. He was also very passionate about the freedom movement and those kind of things but he always had a very different style of expressing like I feel even the progressive artist group which was formed in 1947 and he was a very important part of it but even within that group I feel when you compare him to his contemporaries like Raza or Hussein or Gade I feel Souza was very different from his peers also his method of uh, reacting or his method of uh, expressing was still very different um, and he was uh, expelled from JJ School of Art in his initial years for drawing uh, pornographic drawings on the walls of the college and uh, so he always had that um, like a rebel inside him which uh, which of course um, in his initial days a lot of critics thought will be uh, a problem that he was too self-obsessed and he will use his art to take out his own personal uh, conflicts but in my opinion that is what made him the greatest artist that uh, India has produced because uh, his works deal with emotions and that is what makes his work timeless whether it's and also emotions which the society even a modern society hundred years later is scared to talk about or is not uh, comfortable talking about things like anger or things like um, uh, jealousy but Souza was very free in showing or even things like uh, sex and uh, deriving from our old um, Khajurao uh, traditions and miniatures, Indian miniatures. And also another change that you see in his work uh, as opposed to the early period where he would uh, do everything in a lot of a lot of proportion and a lot of later on when he became more confident and he was very confident of his lines distortion became a major part of his artwork like his nudes would have uh, small faces but huge breasts and the distortion overall became a very important part in his later period. In terms of his typical artwork, something like this is very different because usually you see a lot of uh, lot of anger and you see a lot of uh, that uh, strong emotions coming out. In his initial years, he was speaking a lot about his own relationship with his uh, family. But uh, I do feel it's a very iconic work just because it does show those formative years where uh, he's, uh, the use of colour and the strokes are still very Souza but uh, it still got that innocence. Souza was very free in expressing whatever emotion he wanted to show, which I think is something which uh, even the modern day society could learn from.